Oh no. Oh no. Oh! What the hell? Oh lord. Oh, it's. Oh, I got it. Sweet Jesus. This is insane. What killed him? Sweet Christ. Oh, really? 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 Oh, for fuck's sake. There's going to be keys somewhere, isn't there? Appear to be anything over here, okay. Yeah, whoops. Oh, I can fucking hear it breathing. Fuck off. Why is the lantern the fucking default? Okie dokie. Doesn't appear to be anything that I can uh, investigate or anything, so let's just head up here. Mm. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, fuck. <coughs> Now I'm tripping balls. Damn. Oh no. <coughs> the gas. Oh. My head. Later. We need to move on. Woke up in the asylum installed in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. He met Dr. Colden, a female female friend of Bradley, heard of escape. Wandering through the corridors where her Dr. Fuller rang Supreme Pierce was able to talk to Michael Francis Saunders. Before dying in full view full for with the detective, he accused Sarah Hawkins of being the cause of his torments. Pierce finally left the accused building accompanied by Bradley and Colden. The companions in misfortune decided to use the Hawking mansion as a hideout. How how did he live? Unless he's unless he's a physical man, unless he's a manifestation of Pierce's mind. The beast himself. Who goes there? That nightmare again. I need a drink. Oh. Death of Francis. Oh, that was a trauma. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Uh, should probably really put one in strength. We haven't done that at all recently. Oh, it's daylight. Is it this way? No. I want to know what Bradley and Dr. Colton have to say about all this. Okay. You're 
awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the Force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things I, I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. Seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Give it a go. Oh. Wow, it's so bad that apparently <laughs> it's so... Oh, okay. I heard you talking earlier. Why am I not surprised? I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor, then... Uh... Then what? I... Uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital and called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as... guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan, and I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed... demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in yeah, God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, 
I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? I don't have another cultism for that, which sucks. I met a Francis Sanders. You know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. You're right. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. That seems wise indeed. This will affect Very your well. destiny. Oh, go to see Francis dear. Well. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> Don't do end up in best. the grave, Bradley. Okay. Francis Sanders knew Sarah Hawkins so well that he accused her of being the source of suffering. The man gouged his eyes out with his own hands and smeared the walls with esoteric symbols. He seemed obsessed with a shambler linked to... Um, Sarah Hawkins. He died before my eyes. Circumstances I can't explain. <clears throat> uh, oh. Dr. Fuller reigns as the undisputed master of the Riverside Institute and of its cellars, in which he carries out illegal experiments on his patients. I don't know what he don't know what he has done to me, but I shouldn't be back on my feet so soon after my fall with the tails under them. Hawkins Mansion caved in. This man is dangerous, and I swear, I'd swear i swear that he knows more about this business than he's willing to tell. Probably. Alright, just cut to it. <laughs> Fair enough. Oy, oy, oy. Oh, so how's your guys' evening going? <laughs> oh. What time is I feel there should be music or at least a narration in the loading scenes. That would be better. <clears throat> oh my days. P. 
Pierce, Conan and Bradley decided to team up to solve Sarah Hawkins' case. They have a new child to follow, Francis Sanders, an art collector and a friend of the painter who died right in front of Pierce. The detective goes to his house in order to speak to his widow about the quote-unquote shambler that, that the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, oh. well look who's here. Hey, cat. You know each other. We met briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. The main thing is that we understood one another. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. He'll free we'll the silverware. Very Probably. well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? What I'll happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. Oh, don't tell her. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers Why no my longer. Camera just if moving around me randomly. Such a platitude. Of course. This will affect Thank your destiny. You oh God! Words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute. Oh, this is going to require and, medicine, and, and right medicine is horrible. Eyes. Did you not do anything to help him? Uh. Mrs. Sanders, I understand your grief, and I extend my deepest condolences to you. But I had nothing to do with the death of your husband. I've just arrived on Dark Water. I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. The death of the Hawkins family? You mean it was not an accident? Oh, this accursed island knows only tragedy after tragedy. You too would be advised to flee it like the plague. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. How did you come to meet Sarah Hawkins? We were the wealthiest and most influential families on Darkwater. Of course we would know each other. Every family's the most wealthy and influential family in Darkwater. Artist. She and her sinister paintings were destined to catch my husband's eye. He bought many of her works over the last five years. They adorn his macabre gallery. <clears throat> May I ask you what Miss Baker is doing here? How do you know her? My business with Miss Baker is private, Mr. Pierce. But you do know what kind of business Miss Baker is in, don't you? I am no fool. 
Please believe that much, at least. <laughs>